Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Fruno Connections. I'm Clayton Patterson with Technical Support. Now, if you remember from part one of our episode, Eric and I removed the old DRS-6A from the top of this boat, and we're getting ready to install the brand new DRS-6A NXT solid state Doppler radar in its place. Now, let's go check in with Eric and see what we have to do to run the new cabling and install the antenna. So I'm down here in the center console of this CV. I've removed the two access panels on either side of the, of the uh, center console to expose the wire uh, runs for both the radar and the GPS. One's going up one tube, one's going up the other tube. What we're going to do is we're going to actually use these existing wires as messenger to pull in a new uh, uh, rope that's going to be a permanent messenger, and I'll tell you why in a moment. We're going to use some monkey snot or some, uh, some wire pulling lubricant. So yeah, be, we're going to be uh, having G uh, uh, Clayton be pretty generous with this. We're going to put this on the cable, really do a good job of taping this uh, nylon rope and using that as a messenger to pull in the new cable and a permanent messenger even. And what the reason why I want to leave a permanent messenger in these tubes is that I'm actually going to take this nylon rope and spin it around the cable a little bit. One of these things I'm one of the things I'm looking at right here is that there's almost they're almost empty tubes going up to the hard top from down here. And we just have the radar cable on one side and the GPS on the other. And if you listen, watch what happens when we're running. These boats are so quiet now, but even when we're running a little bit, you can hear that wire jiggle through the whole boat. And I know that when we're running pretty hard and we're hitting we're hitting rough, we're hitting waves and we're kind of going into it a little bit. I actually heard the noise of these cables vibrating a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to leave these permanent, this permanent nylon messenger in there and we're going to wrap it around the cable once or twice inside the tube. And that should deaden that noise, that, that ringing noise against of the wire, both wire, both wire runs against the stanchion going up to the hard top. So we're going to tape this new messenger uh, on this existing Fruno rate DRS cable. And I'm gonna hold it tight and Clayton's gonna tape it. Yep. second here. Get a good long pull on it because we're not sure how tight this cable is in the run. It feels pretty loose. Yeah. This one's gonna be pretty easy. If you have a tight one though, make sure you secure this rope. You do not want it separating and leaving you want me to go? leaving that messenger halfway into the halfway in the tube. That's good. I'm going to sacrifice this DRS cable right now. I'm just going to cut the end off there. Okay. okay, now we're going to lube this up. This is just your generic uh, wire pulling lube. It doesn't hurt to have too much. Pull it and then pull it right into the cable too. So make sure that you get it on the cable. Okay. Boom, we're gonna go down and start yanking that through. Are you ready? Okay, yep, All right, I'll, I'll be, be up here. Oh. Okay, we'll wiggle it and move it and we'll see how it goes. Okay. All right, we're good. Okay, so this was a really easy one. And boom, I already have the messenger. So now we have a permanent messenger in there. I'm gonna give it enough length on the other side so that we can make a complete pull through for the new cables and still have messenger coming out, still the wire rope or the nylon rope coming out the outside. And then we'll put a couple wraps around it in the tube using this rope and hopefully deaden that ringing noise that we were hearing a minute ago. Now the new DRS NXT power and network cable is intentionally small and it has a small connector on the end that's only about 0.6 inches. Mm -hmm. That's designed to allow you to pull it through these tubes on this boat and get it through the hard top. The other side is gonna be a little bit more challenging if we mm -hmm. were to try to pull it down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the messenger to pull this cable up through the tube mm -hmm. and right out this hole. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll come through without much trouble. We might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it through this hole because it's a little small. Mm -hmm. But this cable's small and it also allows you just to plug in the mm -hmm. NXT or an X-Class radar mm -hmm. directly without having to open the radar and do any wiring. Yeah, so there's the, no reason anymore to open up Yeah, the NXT DRS. has a short pigtail that sticks out of the bottom of the antenna which plugs directly into this connector. So mm -hmm. you don't have to take the gearbox apart yeah. and hardware or anything right. anymore. And there's also space in the bottom to allow you to make a little small service coil mm -hmm. with that pigtail. So nothing's exposed, everything's watertight and it'll keep and clean. That's right. It'll keep staying nice everything. over time. 
Okay, so this cable is dry and we have all the lube, you know, all the uh, lube off this part of the rope. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this securely and we're going to use the messenger to pull up the new cable. So, all right, Clayton, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's put some lube on this. So he's already got the plug on that side. It was a really super easy pull. And what he's trying to do is make that plug go through that smaller hole up top. So once he gets that, I'm gonna take this as he's doing that. Once, once he gets that through, he's gonna pull about another foot of cable through this hole. I'm gonna wrap, as soon as he gets done, I'm gonna wrap this around here. And wrap, and I can already, I can already hear that it's a little deadened more so than the old cable because I have that rope through there. If I wrap this around a couple times, I can have this rope making contact with the tube rather than the wire, and that should stop that ring. So there's a, a small hole in this aluminum plate that covers the top of the stanchion and sandwiches the hard top. Uh, that hole is a little too small for our new plug, so I'm gonna take a step drill, and it, it, the, uh, the cable's already pulled, it's right below there, I can see the plug, but I just have to use a, have to use a step drill to enlarge this hole about another eighth to, let's say, three sixteenths, and that'll allow me to pull that cable up through, and then we'll be good to go. So let's just drill this out a little bit. Okay, so nope. almost a little almost. bit more. We need to go a little bigger, I think. Okay, just one more. Let me just see if, let me. Nope. Okay, no, we there got we go. It. Okay, so we were able to enlarge that hole just slightly and pull this connector up mm -hmm. through. The existing messenger's still there. We're still gonna wrap it around, mm -hmm. but, uh, and we have plenty of length on it, so we're good to go. Once we get that done, the only thing we're gonna do now is take a little rat tail file and make sure that there's no sharp edges where we yeah. just made this hole. Because we don't want our brand new cable being chafed, chafed by this exactly. you know, sharp edge here. All right, so. so let's do that and then we'll be done. Okay. So we've got the studs that come supplied with the gearbox and we've got them inserted with a little bit of never see so they don't have any problems. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the gearbox right down in the existing holes. There's no drilling as we said. Mm -hmm. I've taped up and, and secure, well, I've secured the, uh, the messenger, the permanent messenger that we're gonna leave in there just yep. in case we need to use it again. We're gonna connect the radar cable, which is really simple. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna basically make sure that it's, it's tight and it's connected. It's a simple plug lock. Yeah, and it's and, clicked. And then what we're gonna do after that, now we've got it plugged in, just to add a little bit of extra waterproofing to this situation. And security so that yeah. we don't bounce that We're gonna out. electrical tape this, basically wind and seal this, just to protect it against the elements in case they get any water underneath, you know, up underneath the gearbox. Over time. Yeah, over time, it's not gonna leak and uh, fill these connectors full of water and, and wick down the cables. So we're gonna go over this one time, and I'm gonna go back over it again. It should be waterproof. It's a waterproof connector. It this is. This just is a double security measure, just to, to yeah. prevent it from vibrating in loose. A, in a marine time. environment, you yeah. can never have too much waterproofing, right? That's all, all right. she wrote. All right. So now that's pretty well sealed. Sealed up. Mm -hmm. And now, now we can drop that gearbox. So we've right also down got our, you know, instead of a big full one-piece, you know, rubber corrosion mat. They've given us these little uh, rubber corrosion washers that'll help separate and it won't stick out so you'll get a nice clean look to it. And that also helps with the studs too. So these go in, they don't have any nuts, so it should be pretty clean installation. So we're gonna lift this gearbox. You wanna uh, take care of the cable? Yeah. You're looking pretty Which good. Which will coil up underneath the gearbox here. Oh, she just dropped it. Right down there, just check the tape in the back. All right, there. there we go. Now we're on there. We can secure it from the bottom using the provided lock nuts mm -hmm. and double nuts. There's eight nuts, so we're going to double nut it so that it doesn't come out mm -hmm. and it should be good to go. There's radiator. our brand new radiator. Yeah. So we want to take the three bomb that's provided with the mm -hmm. antenna and literally just coat the whole top surface. 
We probably want to hit this side a little better too, just to make yeah, sure. Yeah, we're going to coat it all, and we're going to make sure we got a, a pretty even bead around the whole thing. When you press this radiator down, I want uh, sealant to come out all around the edges. Okay. Again, the reason why I want to coat the entire top surface of this flange yep. is that if you don't have uh, the three bond kind of squeeze out, then you have some open uh, raw aluminum surface that will corrode over time. Yep. And it'll uh, actually start to uh, a process of Probably corroding to... over the top of all the paint there. and get rid of there the paint. There you go. Yeah. Get some so more in there too. Get... So you want to get a nice even layer across the entire yeah. uh, radiator. That's bracket, what I do. which is what they call this piece, is the radiator bracket. Yeah. So Just I put FYI. a little never seize on these bolts. Yep. And Clayton's gonna drop that array on can there. I turn this back so that I can keep yeah. my alignment right. And again, you have to make sure that the waveguide is going to the waveguide. Yep. Yeah, this is a radar, so we got to make sure that the energy gets out and gets back into the receiver and transmitter properly. All right, and once you drop that down on there, I'm okay. just gonna. So get your I'm hole started, and then I'll. Bit. Okay, so we're just gonna tighten up this gearbox against yep. the flange, and notice that some goop will seep out, which is yep. exactly what we want. Yeah, we don't want to make a mess. Looks like we're getting a nice good. But we do on. want it to seep out. We'll get more once we tighten. Kind of snug them up in a little bit of a, a cross pattern. So we're just finishing up here installing this radiator on top of the gearbox. We recommend putting some white three bond silicone on the bottom of the stainless bolts just to prevent some surface corrosion, keep any rusty water from falling down on the white paint on the gearbox and make it look nice. Basically the hardest part of this radar installation was running the cable. It just plugs and plays, connects up at the top here. All we have to do now is go down and plug in the network connection and the power and this NXT radar is installed and ready to go. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Now our next episode, we're gonna talk about autopilots. We're gonna do the installation on our new NAF Pilot 300 and get it all dialed in. Some really cool tricks there and especially the NAF Pilot 300's gesture controller is really awesome. Can't wait to use it, can't wait to show you guys how it works. So thanks for watching. And if you like the exciting content that you've seen, Click the link below to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be the first one to know when we have new content available with new product information and new exciting stuff from Furuno.